redemption time for the fancy gun build. We got it figured out. I'll tell you what it is, how we fixed it, and let's do some shooting. Coming up next on GB Guns. So this fancy gun build, this was a project that uh, Tia and I started after some intoxicated Black Friday shopping, found a killer deal on these F1 receivers uh, through Rainier Arms, learned a lot of things. Uh, her build will be different than mine. It took several months to collect all these pieces. Uh, none of this was sent. None of this is uh, promotional stuff. This was a personal build. If you saw the video, you know I got frustrated when my multi-thousand dollar build wouldn't run. Uh, to go over real quick, we have an Arrow 18-inch barrel with a rifle length gas system, Vendetta Precision Titanium Muzzle Brake, Patriot Ordnance Factory Dictator Adjustable Gas Block. My intent with this thing wasn't weight savings or anything like that on this gun, although it looks lightweight. My intent was to make a smooth shooter. So 18-inch barrel, rifle length gas system, super soft, but very little dwell time can be tricky running a lightweight bolt carrier, empty lightweight Odin Works adjustable uh, buffer, ended up needing a reduced power recoil spring. Not because these are lightweight, but because the dwell time is so little, there's so little gas coming through to push on it. But uh, it's running now, and thanks to the dictator, I can tune this thing to run 223, or run only 556 and they're both just as soft as you can probably clearly see through the receiver got some fioki 55 grain 223 loaded here and uh well let me let me show you how soft this thing shoots just gonna burn a couple so you get a feel for it and don't worry we've got plenty of slow-mo of it too so that was 10 rounds get a little bit of gas in the face. Whoever it was that suggested putting a suppressor on this thing to up <laughs> the uh, pressure to make it run, with that receiver, no, no, no suppressors going on this receiver. I uh, do want to put a little shame on Rainier Arms. F1 informed me that these receivers were never meant to be a match set. Uh, pretty sure they were marketed as a match set and I was a little disappointed at how some of the lines didn't match from the upper to the lower. That's because they're not supposed to. <laughs> this is not supposed to be a set. Anyways, you've seen the gun run now. Got some slow-mo. In fact, why don't we take a pause and just watch through that mag dump of rounds in slow motion and let you see how little this thing runs. Now, Miss Tia's build isn't complete yet. We're still putting some parts together for that and then we'll send it off to get Cerakoted. So she hasn't experienced the intent of what I pulled off here. What do you say we have her do some ready ups with it and try some pairs and give her commentary since she hasn't dumped money into this thing. I have. So while I'm emotionally invested to see it run well, she is not. So what I can tell you already that I love about this is how freaking light it is. There's one in. Oh. That thing's really nice and I can't wait to get mine put together. <laughs> so first notes about the fancy build. I don't like the safety at all. Um, it's really stiff even though it's ambi it's hard for me to use on that side because it's a reduced length. 
The way this thing shoots though is amazing. What I noticed when shooting was it's not really that light after all. It, it, it's just balanced more, the weight is more in the rear. So the if it feels lighter because it's more balanced um, centrally. Filming the slow-mo was a lot of fun with all of these, this openness here, as I'm sure you've seen by now. Um, but you don't get to see that when you're shooting it. That's disappointing. <laughs> And like I said, I'm really excited to put mine together. Maybe next month?